Hello friends. Today we discuss and understand the aspect of fasting which has numerous health benefits aside from the religious obligations that Muslims have during the holy month of Ramadan. Fasting has become a popular way to stay young, fit, and healthy, with benefits ranging from improved weight management and healthier blood cell regeneration to improved heart function and vascular well-being. The Ramadan fast is undoubtedly one of the most difficult purification rituals for the soul and detoxification of the body and cleaning the body gutter. Ramadan may also be the ideal time to quit smoking for good. Please subscribe, share, like and comment to our channel, thanks. Practical Strategies to Safely Fast During Ramadan Use these professional fasting tips to stay energized and healthy. For Muslims all throughout the world, the holy month of Ramadan is a particular time of year. Ramadan is a time for Muslims to reflect on themselves, strengthen their ties to their religion, and help their community. Muslims come in a variety of forms, and the religion itself has several traditions. Fasting during Ramadan is a custom that almost everyone observes. For the whole month of Ramadan, people who are fasting refrain from eating or drinking anything between sunrise and sundown. Ramadan offers the chance for self-improvement and the chance to discover more about our faith and ourselves. These spiritual benefits call for perseverance and commitment in prayer, dedication to almsgiving, and willpower in fasting. Muslims use a lunar-based calendar to keep track of time. Every year, Ramadan falls 15 days earlier than the last. The length of the days varies depending on where you are in the world. Many times, the month starts off with a positive vibe, and practitioners may have numerous spiritual objectives. When attempting to maintain your health while fasting and juggling your regular daily obligations, it can be simple to make mistakes. Here are some helpful advice and techniques to help you maintain a secure, fruitful fast during Ramadan. Don't forget to eat breakfast. Throughout Ramadan, there are only two times to eat, early in the morning before sunrise, suhoor, and in the evening after sunset, iftar. Given that having an appetite so early in the morning might be challenging, skipping breakfast can be a simple mistake. It's crucial that you don't miss this supper. Your energy levels during the day will be impacted by the food decisions you make. People frequently choose simple carbohydrates for breakfast. Yet, basic carbohydrates won't provide you sustained energy. Instead, it is advised to consume entire grains along with wholesome proteins and fats, as well as fruits and vegetables. They include foods like savory overnight oats, energy pancakes, and strawberry chocolate overnight oats. Hydration. Water consumption is crucial and has numerous positive health effects. Lack of water intake can make you feel down. Memory and energy levels may be impacted by this. Managing water consumption plays a function in blood pressure control, headache prevention and treatment, kidney stone prevention and treatment, constipation prevention and treatment, and management of chronic health disorders. Also, there is some evidence that hydration reduces hunger. This is very helpful if you're going without food all day long. But how can you stay hydrated if you aren't allowed to drink any water from sunrise to sunset? Rehydrate and consume the necessary amount of water during the hours just before and just after sundown. Throughout the night, 
Keep a water bottle nearby and sip from it whenever you can. To be mindful of the meals you consume might also be beneficial. While sweets might be quite alluring during Ramadan, try to choose for foods with a high water content. Include water-rich foods in your evening meal, such as strawberries, melons, cantaloupe, cucumbers, zucchini, bell pepper, and tomatoes. Is strongly advised. If Ramadan falls during a warm season, wear lightweight clothing and try to stay out of the sun. Keep portions in mind. Traditional dishes are particularly important for Muslims, especially during Ramadan. The traditional dishes served at gatherings during important religious holidays like Eid and Nevroz are adored by all. Yet, because our ethnic dishes can be very greasy and heavy, families and individuals should constantly endeavor to be aware of quantities. Even while it tastes fantastic, if we overdo it, the next day we feel drained and worn out. Ramadan lasts for an entire month, it is not a one-day celebration. While breaking the fast is cause for joy, it might not be a good idea to consume traditional delicacies every night. Overeating is also typical after going a whole day without eating and feeling hungry. This may contribute to morning weariness and weight gain over the month. Breaking the fast with a date, some fruit, and water is advised by experts. At this point, it is advised to pause and finish the evening prayer before starting any food. The fruit's natural sugars will enable your body to recognize that you have consumed food. You won't feel hungry and are less prone to overeat as a result. Experts advise using your plate as a reference when eating dinner. Try distributing your food in the following way. Half a plate for salad or vegetables. A quarter of a plate worth of carbohydrates. If you do decide to consume refined carbohydrates, exercise caution and limit your intake. Protein, one-fourth of a plate. Recognize your health. Even if you suffer from a chronic illness, you can still fast. It does, however, imply that advanced preparation and required adjustments are vital. The majority of drugs main should be continued while fasting, according to expert doctors. To match the fasting schedule of the evening meal and morning meal, you should change the time you take them. Patients shouldn't fast if their medical condition gets worse, even after altering their prescription regimen. This includes serious conditions including those that necessitate hospitalization, diabetes, which necessitates a steady supply of meals and liquids to regulate blood sugar levels, and some malignancies. As long as their circumstances are stable and under control, people with common medical disorders like diabetes and hypertension can still fast. But they will have to keep a tight eye on their blood pressure and blood sugar levels, drink enough water, and change when they take their prescriptions. Above all, doctors advise maintaining an open line of communication with your healthcare provider to make sure that fasting is healthy for you. Discussing medication adjustments is also important. Don't worry if fasting throughout Ramadan doesn't suit your health. By making up missed fasting days later or by giving to charity, Ramadan can still be observed. Come back. 
regular eating routines can be challenging to resume after Ramadan. It's possible that your body has grown accustomed to consuming more food later in the day and skipping meals entirely during the day. If you find yourself in this predicament, experts advise trying intermittent fasting and making sure you stay hydrated all day. If you discover that you tend to nibble, think about scheduling regular mealtimes. The Conclusion Ramadan is a time for joy and spiritual development. Muslims are putting themselves through the test of a month of fasting, therefore it is a difficult period as well. Employ these strategies to maintain your energy levels as you fast throughout the day and eat traditional foods at night. Friends you enjoy Ramadan, and keep the faith always, and stay happy and healthy. Cheers! for watching and giving your valuable time. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to keep our motivation going. Cheers.